Imagine you've been asked to think of a new way to use a shoe. Can you think of some other ways that you could use this shoe other than just wearing it? Maybe a dog's toy or a doorstop? Objects can be used in many ways. Today, we're gonna read a story about a girl who makes something special out of objects that other people have thrown away. Okay, I want you to have your books open to page 56. We're going to be reading The Super Duper Bamboozled Horn by Becky Davis. We're starting with chapter one, Bits and Parts. I give up, said Mom. I want to fix this tuba, but I can't even get a single note to come out of it. I might as well throw it away. In that case, may I have it? asked Millie. Pause. Yes, you may said Mom, but what are you going to do with it? I'm going to invent a super duper bamboozle horn, said Millie. Oh my, said Mom. Pause the video. Millie took the tuba to her room. She took it apart until there were big parts and little parts scattered all over the floor. Then she began putting the parts here and there in her own special way. Pause the video. We're on page 58. After a while, she stopped and said to herself, what this needs is one thin part with notches in it to match this one. There was a loud clanging from the kitchen. Millie went to see what was going on. Dad was fixing the sink. Millie watched for a while. When Dad set a broken pipe down, Millie said, may I have that? Pause. Yes, you may, said Dad, but why does a little girl like you need a pipe? I'm inventing a super duper bamboozle horn, said Millie. Oh my, said Dad. Pause the video. Millie put the pipe in her room and went outside. Mr. Fisher was putting a used refrigerator out for the trash men to pick up. Mr. Fisher, Millie said, clapping her hands. May I please have the coils from the back of that refrigerator? Pause the video. Yes, you may, said Mr. Fisher, but what would a little girl like you want with these worn out coils? I'm inventing a super duper bamboozle horn, said Millie. Oh my, said Mr. Fisher. Pause the video. Clutching the coils, Millie went back to her room in a little while, funny noises came from the room. Screechings and crashings and creakings and bangings filled the house. Okay, boys and girls, we're gonna stop at page 59. I want to quickly look over your worksheet with you that you will be doing today. You're going to be looking at page uh, 123. It says, Millie's invention. The directions state, color the bubble beside the correct answer. Boys and girls, you're simply going to read, read the um, sentence, there's a blank, something's missing. You're going to pick the phrase that will finish that sentence, okay? Then you're going to turn it over to page 123B. The directions state, draw a picture of something you would like to invent. Write about how your invention could be used. Put some thought into this. Think about something you would really like to see invented. And when you write these sentences, don't forget the rules about sentences. Make sure you have a capital letter at the beginning of your sentence and an ending mark at the end of your sentence. Okay, I want your best work.